Bonjour. So today I felt like a really big treat. This is a cake that I've been making for a very long time. It actually takes um, its origin from Belgium. So as you know, Belgium is very well known for its chocolate. I figured that I would share one of my favorite recipes with you, which is that Belgian chocolate cake. So what you need for that is not a whole lot. And so I'm gonna show you. We have six ounces of chocolate in here. Of course, I picked Belgian chocolate. So this chocolate comes from Belgium. You can find it at Trader Joe's or in, in different specialty stores. I decided to mix um, a very dark bitter chocolate with some milk chocolate. So it's probably two thirds of the six ounces is um, dark chocolate. And then one third of that six ounce is um, milk chocolate, but it is chocolate that contains cocoa butter so it's a very good chocolate to melt and to work with it's wonderful and then i have about one stick and a half of butter we also have four eggs we have seven tablespoons of flour right here now for my family we do cook gluten-free so this is gluten-free flour but you can also make this with regular flours and we also have now i've decided to go because we like this formula it's just sweet enough for us, one third of a cup of sugar. You can do half a cup of sugar. Uh, you can go all the way to three quarter of a cup of sugar if you like, if you have a very sweet tooth, but that's your choice. So um, what else do I need? Well, I'm gonna need a buttered um, dish uh, to cook my cake into. Um, so what first step, number one, we are going to put this chocolate and butter to melt so we have a pot on um, uh, the stove that's with water. Uh, we're waiting for it to, to warm up and this should melt our chocolate and butter. Why on a bain-marie? This avoids the chocolate to overcook. If you overcook chocolate, it becomes gritty. It becomes um, dry and uh, burnt and you don't want that. So what do we do with the eggs? We're gonna separate them. So I'm gonna put the yolks in here and the whites in here. The whites will be beaten uh, with the egg beater right there behind me, my robot. And um, so the whites in here and the yolks in the other dish. There you go. So we've got, of course, I wash my hands 20 zillion times under the hot soapy water, so that's not a problem. Uh, here we go. So we've got four eggs separated. All right, so I'm going to put my egg whites right here so I can beat them up. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt, just a pinch, just a pinch like this. That's it. While this is getting ready, I'm going to mix my sugar with my egg yolk. Just going to take a fork and beat it until it becomes pale yellow. Okay, so this is what you want. Getting a little lighter as you beat it. So that's the sugar and egg yolk. You can take a look at these egg whites and they're getting thick, fluffy, and solid, practically solid. So we're gonna stop it. This is the consistency that you want. Look at that. It's sticking to the beater and it's coming out in clumps. That's exactly what you want. You don't want anything more or less. That's perfect. So let's take a look at this chocolate and see how it's doing. If it's melted, not quite, it's getting there. So you stir it. All right, so I have just a few more clumps. The water's hot enough, I can hear it boil. So you can turn your stove off before you're done with the task. The water's hot, so it's gonna keep my chocolate warm. And I'm able to continue to stir until there's no solids left. So everything will be nice and soft. If you just you use milk chocolate, you're not gonna get the same taste. You're not gonna get the real chocolatey pound cake taste. So this, this is very important to use as dark as you can or mix. Now, if you didn't have any milk chocolate and you only had dark chocolate and it's very bitter, then you're allowed to use your three quarter cup of sugar. You will need it because you don't want your cake to be bitter. Okay, I believe this is ready. So what do I do? I take this out. I'm gonna work over here. So this is nice and hot. And what I wanna do is add my eggs. No, no, you have to be extremely careful because you don't want your eggs to curd. So 
it's important to keep stirring as you mix your eggs in there. So as you pour your eggs in, you want to continue stirring because you don't want it to curd. All right, so we're going to turn on the oven now at 350. Now I'm going to add my seven tablespoons of flour to my chocolate mix. No blocks, there's no, no bits, no pieces, so it's all good. And now, last stage, we are going to mix it to the egg whites. So my chocolate's still hot, so I want to do a little bit at a time. Okay, because you don't want those egg whites to flatten right away. So I'm going to start mixing that little bit of chocolate in there. Okay, now we're going to add, you're ready to add the rest of the chocolate mixture. Just love the smell. It's just really fun to make because the house will smell like chocolate and who doesn't want a chocolate smelling house really so here we go we're going to continue mixing this chocolate make sure we have a nice mixed chocolate sauce here it looks like chocolate sauce that looks good so now last step i am going to pour my batter into my greased or oiled um, dish. So we want to make sure that all sides have been nicely buttered. So this makes a cake for a good, I'd say 10 servings, maybe eight. I mean, depends how much you love chocolate. In our family, it probably makes six servings. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you really love chocolate, it might just be enough for two. Definitely need an apron to work with chocolate. Again, this is a traditional cake that um, that I learned to make when I was in Belgium. So we're gonna put this cake in the oven at 350, and we're only gonna cook it for 20 minutes. When you do a cake like this, 20 minutes is plenty. Uh, you don't wanna overcook it. So here we go, it's going in. I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna put my timer on, 20 minutes. Okay, it just beeped. We're gonna take a look. Ooh. I need to check, make sure the batter is ready. And it is, the cake is ready. So 20 minutes at 350 is definitely what you want. It's very tempting, right? But we have to let it cool off for a few minutes before we can actually take it out of there. All right, so a few minutes have gone by and I'm telling you really a few minutes, not very long has gone by <laughs> because I have a lot of pressure to try and see if this cake is really worth it. Uh, I know it is, but here we go. So we're going to flip it and hopefully it comes out. Um, ooh, it's hurting. It did. Ooh, and there it is. Lovely. So here's the wonderful cake. I probably need to move it a bit in the center. This is the chocolate cake that I promised you. Let's take a look and see inside. This is what you're going to, that's what it's going to look like. And this is what it looks like it is a chocolate pound cake it's it's rich it's very chocolatey it's almost like a brownie but not as sweet as a brownie it's it's very unique you have to try it so i hope you enjoy it we are certainly going to i hope you enjoy uh watching this video and um that you will make the cake for your family enjoy and see you soon